what would be some ways that you as a returning customer to a producer could feel more appreciated by that producer? Um, honestly, maybe just, you know, and I, again, I don't want to sound like needy or entitled or anything like that, but maybe just like, if you see the person's bought more than one beat, for instance, I don't expect that if you sell a lot of beats that you can follow up with every single person consistently. But say you see a person like me, I had mentioned last time, um, that kid Goron, it's, it's a guy that I found on BeatStars. I've purchased several beats. Um, I'm not using him as an example because he's great, you know, with response and everything like that. But um, being that I've purchased several beats, just like an email, like, hey, just checking in with you, wanted to see how your projects were going. Like being that he's done that, it does make you feel like, okay, this producer's got good business sense, you know, um, they actually care about their beats, where they're going, the projects. So that just in itself, like honestly says a lot to the artist, at least me personally. Like I, I thought that that was really cool that he did that. Um, so there's that. And then just response times again, like being able, if you're not going to list things consistently for us to know in the terms, like as far as like what we were talking about, if you're not going to list in the terms, this comes tagged, untagged, you know, things like that you always have to consider that the person doesn't know. Don't assume that anybody knows anything. That Always assume that the person has no idea what they're dealing with. So yeah. for us, when we're viewing BeatStar pages, in those terms, if you can list, you know, this one's tagged, this one comes untagged, things like that, um, it does help with us. And I know like you had told me, if you get the one with the stems and stuff, you can always remove it yourself. But again, to me, I'm clueless. I don't, I wouldn't know offhand. Right. I, I, I'm sure I could do it. It would take a little bit of research. I could then take the time and do that. But off that, I don't know how to do that. So right. if you list in the terms for us, it makes it just more clear. And then that actually helps if you know you're going to have like a slower response time. That helps us know because it's like little basic questions I'll have. And if they would have listed it, I would have bought the beat right then without needing them to respond. But there's times oh. like this one in, 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 in specific, yeah. that Fair. particular tag. I, I never usually am concerned with the tag. I've never had a problem. I leave them in. They, I know that's your guys' you know, that's your guys' signature. I, I don't you know, have any qualms with them. But this particular one, for instance, it was in the worst spot. Are you laughing at me? No, I'm I'm laughing because I'm picturing I'm picturing this really loud offensive tag just Oh yeah, well those I might have a little oh. issue. Those are the ones I was talking about before. Like something super duper yeah. obnoxious, no. Um but I mean it are, you know, I know it's your guys' signature, so I don't usually have a lot of issues. This particular one though was right in a spot where like it just couldn't be it. It messed up what I was trying to do. So basically I was trying to message this guy and ask him if I purchased just the standard lease is the tag removed. I really wanted to record right then, but it made a difference to me, you know, cause I had the downloadable version that I can just mess with and that had right. the tag. So if I was gonna buy it, I just didn't want it to be the same thing. You know what I mean? And so it's just things like that. It's going back to just like, just list it in the terms if you have a slower response time and that might help us, you know, that might help you get more sales. Then we don't have to wait for you to respond to buy it or, 